My name is Aaron Grieser and I was working on the 2023 solar car Alech. As an electrical lead at Alpha Centauri Solar Racing and when we participated at the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge in Australia, I was also actually driving the car. When we were looking for a DC-DC converter, we were looking for a power supply with a wide output range from like 5 to 50 watts, which has highest efficiency at nominal operating range, which was quite low power, around 20 watts. And it should be at least 90% efficiency. So um, with the InnoSwitch 3 EP from power integrations, we actually achieved the efficiency of 95%. The applications running from the InnoSwitch 3 EP can be divided in two groups. The ones that are powered all the time, like daytime running lights, like telemetry, and so on. They draw about 20 watts. And then there are the applications just used for a short period of time. Those are like blinkers, horn, or brake lights. And uh, they can draw in total up to 50 watts. So we need this wide power output range, which is why this is the perfect decision. This part can be used in any power supply application where a wide output range with high efficiency is needed and the high switching frequency it's operating at helps to make a very, very compact design. We went to PCIM and there we stumbled across power integrations. We already knew them from before that they do something with power electronics. But uh, when, we, when we met them and talked to them, they were super excited and we realized how specialized they are in power supply applications and that they are the perfect match for our DC-DC converter in the solar car. This is our battery box and on this side we have the power distribution unit with our DC-DC converter being mounted right here. And then we have on the input side, we have an analog pre-charge and some fuses. And on the output side, we have 12 volts for the contactors, 12 volts for the rest of the system, and uh, some safety mechanisms with a safe state loop that goes one through the car and enables it easier or disables it. When we were at static scrutineering, the judges were looking and then they, they saw this, this construction there and were asking, is this our URDC DC converter? And then we said, yes, and they were super excited that there was no cover, no heatsink, and they even took a picture of it. <laughs> we just received the regulations for the race in 2025, and uh, obviously a lot is going to change. The battery will be a little bit smaller, the PV array will be bigger, so a lot is going to change. But for the low watch system, there's not too much change. And we had such a great experience with the 2023 car Alege, so we're confident we can trust in the technology of the InnoSwitch 3 EP for power integrations again.